I'm Beardo Belligerent, and I just got my head slammed in a door, as you can see. Oh, wait. There's no blood there, but there's blood. Well, there's blood all over you. Oh, yeah, there's blood. <laughs> Is there? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Anyway, so yeah, that just happened. So, we're cutting our sleeping uh, accommodation short and going to a hospital. Hooray! <laughs> you want to show us the cut? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can't really see it right now. Well, From what I hear, it's not that bad, but I definitely bled a lot. <laughs> All right, well, you'll be well soon. <coughs> I will. So we'll, we'll pick this up later. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Mmm. Yeah. All right, off to the hospital for you. There you go. Hey, it's me. I'm in the hospital in, uh, in, uh, where are we? Kipling. Kipling. Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get sutured up soon for my head wound. Nice. Nice gentle head wound. There, I got it from, uh, slamming my head in the door. Blado. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. Freed. So, uh, why don't you tell them about uh, the alarm? When we approached the hospital, it was very dark and it looked like there may have been nobody here, but there was one room with a light and an EMS person. So, we approached the door, and as we opened the door, an alarm sounded, and we felt rather sheepish. The hospital staff came out to the real entrance and said, Why did you go through that door? And we said, We're from Toronto. <laughs> and that's about it. And uh, then the cops came. <laughs> We settled it, and uh, yeah, they love us now. <laughs> okay, so how how exactly did you manage to slam your own head in the fucking door? <laughs> okay. All right, so it's good we have the van here, because um, I can explain it. Okay, <laughs> so this door doesn't have an inside handle, and I packed myself in on this side, the one that does have a handle, and then. I was like, oh shit. And I'm <laughs> and so basically I tried to reach around that that door and pull it and it was stuck and I pulled it really hard and I slammed my uh head in the door. Uh, so let's see the cut. <laughs> Actually it's pretty good now. Here, turn turn yeah, it over. It turn it over into light. Like that. It's, it's been it's been sutured. And I have uh penicillin that I can take, or that I should take, <laughs> prevent infections. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it's just suggested yet. <laughs> he also suggests I go to the pharmacy tomorrow and get more, because this isn't enough, but, uh, whatever. <laughs> you just need, that, it. You that need a scalp infection? That doctor was two jokes for me to... Yeah, he was. <laughs> I didn't believe anything he said after a while, because I don't know if he's fucking joking or not. He's a nice guy. Doctor, whoever woke up in the... The middle of the night, who was clearly drinking. <laughs> That's my experience. You got blood on the back of the seat. Oh, I got. I got blood everywhere, man. Blood on my pants. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's blood on uh, on your pants too. <laughs> blood out. Yeah, uh, I guess we should probably try to find a place where you can set up the tent for us. <laughs> I think I definitely lost three years off my life. The size where I was, I was worried some car would just fucking like my yeah, back truck come and smack me though from the floor. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! That was nuts, man. <laughs> I just saw lightning strike the fucking ground. Whoa! <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
for the win. <laughs>